Hello and welcome to the Learning Center. In this short video, we are going to discuss the topic Thinking Like a Learner. We will cover these five points. The first thing to know is that the Learning Center offers you a large range of support services. You can access all of these by going to our website at jcu.edu.au, clicking on the student link and then clicking on the Learning Center. When you first begin, you should perform a self-check. That is to consider the type of mindset that you have. Are you the kind of person that avoids challenges or embraces challenges? Do you give up easily or do you persist in the face of setbacks? Do you see effort as a waste of time or do you see it as a path to mastery? Do you see criticism from others as negative and ignore it or do you see it as something to learn from? Do you see the success of others as a threat or do you find inspiration and lessons from the success of others? According to the theory by Carol Dweck, intelligence can be developed by having a growth mindset. And as a result of this growth mindset, people can reach higher and higher levels of achievement and this gives them a greater sense of free will. As you're studying, try and emulate the behaviors you can see on the right side of this graphic in the growth mindset column. You should also be aware that you will need to take small steps to achieve your goals. One of the ways of doing this is trying to work towards the indicators of success. These show us that students perform best when they do one hour of work on their assessments three times a week, rather than leaving things in big chunks at the end of the semester. The data also shows us that students perform best when they attend 80% of workshops and lectures, when they attend the peer assisted study sessions, and when they commit more than 10 hours of study per subject per week. We know that the key to success is to have both knowledge and motivation, and that one without the other is ineffective. At university, you will learn the knowledge, but you need to develop the motivation internally or by yourself. One way to stay motivated is to set some specific goals and to keep them visible in your study space. You may write a semester planner or weekly study planner and attach it to your wall so that you can see it every time you study. Each time you reach a goal, you should tick them off and then reward yourself for achieving them. You can reward yourself in a number of ways, such as going to a movie, hanging out with friends, going for a walk, taking a break. In order to do this, it's important that you know your mental and study limits. On one hand, you need to be mentally tough and disciplined with yourself to stick to your goals. But you also need to know when you've mentally had enough. For some students, 15 minutes of reading is enough before they need to stand up, take a walk, go outside, grab a cup of coffee, and then return to study. So be clear on what your mental and study limits are and don't be too self-critical if you can't achieve all of your goals in one sitting. In this short video, we have covered some methods of how you can grow to think like a learner. The first thing is access the services that are available to you in the Learning Center. The second thing is do a mindset self-check. Do you have a growth mindset? If you don't, what things can you change to move towards that model? The third thing we discussed was how to deal with assessment in advance by having small study sessions spaced throughout the week. We also talked about how to succeed at anything and we discussed that this is a combination of knowledge and motivation. And we also talked about staying motivated 